We're happy to have Dr. Alan Kleiger with us now. Um, he is the project chair of Nephrologist Transforming Dialysis Safety. Let's just say NTDS. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us what NTDS does. Well, each year there are about 8,000 dialysis patients who die because of infections, preventable infections. Um, the CDC came up with a group of evidence-based interventions that would prevent that from happening. In fact, been shown to prevent it from happening. And unfortunately, even though it's been shown to work, it hasn't gotten traction across the country. So the CDC came to the ASN and asked us to do a, a project that engages nephrologists and engages medical directors of dialysis units to understand how to stop these infections and how to save these lives. And that's your main focus. And that's our main focus, that's right. You have a session here at Kidney Week 2018. What topics will you be addressing, focusing on during that session? Yeah. Well, this year, and our session is Friday uh, at uh, 2 o'clock, okay. we're first going to be talking about preventing hepatitis C in dialysis patients, in mm -hmm. dialysis units. We're also going to be talking about outbreaks and how to do screening um, for outbreaks in dialysis units. The third thing we're going to be talking about is uh, antibiotic stewardship. What do we need to do to make sure that the right antibiotics are used in dialysis facilities and used at the right times? And finally, we're going to have a session on leadership. What, what transformative leadership is necessary to really get this job done right? What more needs to be done in this area? What will you be working on? Yeah. Well, beyond everyone really understanding the best therapies, we think there are two additional elements that are really critical. The one I just mentioned is about leadership. Uh, unless there's really uh, inspired leadership in dialysis facilities, leadership by nephrologists with their teams to put infection prevention at the forefront of what, we're in, what we have to do, making that a major goal. Unless that happens, we're not going to solve this problem of infections. So we're talking about ways of learning about tools for best leadership. The second thing in addition we're doing is using human factors engineers to look at dialysis unit process to see if it's happening in the best and the most efficient way. And we're hoping to use the evidence we get from our studies of the human factors engineers to help re-engineer the way dialysis is provided and make it much less likely that infections will happen. Uh, we have some 13,000 people here, attendees at Kidney Week, and I know other ASN members. What can those people do? What can your colleagues do to help support NTDS? Number one, put first and foremost in your mind that infection is a real risk for all dialysis patients. If we gave it the same attention we currently give to anemia or bone disease, I think that that would go a long way. The second is to recognize that our, our systems like dialysis units function and need to be examined carefully to make sure that we're not taking shortcuts, that we're doing the right thing to prevent infections. That's something that every nephrologist and every medical director can do. Dr. Kleiger, thank you so much for sharing this information with us about the Nephrologist Transforming Dialysis Safety Group. You're welcome, and thank you. ASN TV has all the coverage you want from this year's conference. Be sure to check out all of the content, which is updated every day here on YouTube during Kidney Week 2018.